today is a somewhat monumental event. As it has been since March 16th, 2020, that we've had anybody in the studio hosting sessions. Uh, that's 19 months and 100 sessions. So, you know, pandemic stop shit. But here we are back. And on this October 8th, 2021, we're so honored to have with us you, me, and everyone we know. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care anymore. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care anymore. I don't care about encroaching seas, ubiquitous and equity. My eyes are from witnessing all the erosion of democracy. The choruses of death cults and their choruses. Us 97 XF 11. About the industry wholeheartedly rejecting me survival is a statement I think it's fair to claim my victory Just convince it I get better every time I cry I wouldn't recommend this path Driving in its aftermath
watching Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with you, me, and everyone we know. Welcome. Thank you all so much for coming out for us. Yeah, yeah, you take a break for a second, take a breather. You all can uh, go ahead and tune your instruments and stuff like that. And while they're doing that, I will say that they have a new album, Something Heavy, which is out now that you can check out. Um, and then on October 9th, which is tomorrow, they're playing at the Bottom Lounge in Chicago. So if you're in or around that area, come and check them out. They're playing with Cali Massey, City Mouth, and Tiny Kingdom. So... Check that out. Uh, what is up? Uh, I do want to compliment on camera your shoes. They're incredible. Everyone should check them out. Um, so, so tell me. It hurts to be so pretty. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no, it should. It should. It should. So tell me, um, you guys are a very influential band to me when I was a decade ago. I'm 32 now. So a decade ago or around 2008, discovered you guys was trying to convince all of my friends that you were the best band around, that kind of thing. So it's an honor to have you in here, honestly. Yeah, of course. Would you just tell me kind of your initial impetus of wanting to release music again? Because I know there's a fair amount of time between the projects, re-releases, et cetera. But, yeah. yeah. So I... Um, I have uh, some pretty severe PTSD, and a couple of years ago, I, uh, I hit my head after passing out in the bathroom mm. from, like, a stress response. Okay. Yeah, hey, lyrics. Are... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Makes <laughs> sense yeah. now. This is all like, coming all together. There. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I, so essentially, like, I, it has devolved into a condition called dysautonomia, yeah. um, as far as doctors have been able to tell us so far. Um, and that, that combined with sort of just feel like... I wrote this record thinking I was not being sure if I was ever going to perform it. Sure, sure. And Maybe for yourself more? Just in general, yeah. And honestly, the, the time I spent writing it, I'd kind of been questioning before dysautonomia, like whether or not I was starting to develop like early onset Alzheimer's okay. or something. Okay. Um, so it was just kind of this like, like, just like, let's do this. Yeah, yeah. You know, like sort of um, po pondering my own mortality for the last... I mean, for the last 37 years, but particularly for the last three, yeah. really caused an aggressive level of uh, reflection and um, a radical spiritual awakening on top of that um, in a good sense. Not yeah, a, sure, sure. Not a... No, I know, know, I know exactly. Not a I'm, I'm, from the, <laughs> I'm from the people group that would be the Magasin, so I understand yeah, fully yeah, I, I, what you mean. Yes, more yes. We are doing better than I ever was. <laughs> yes, yes, of yeah. course. <laughs> Great. Um, would you tell me about the like collaborative aspect of it? I know there's just a couple like features, but they just help with production on the production side. There's or maybe vocal features. I can't quite. Remember yeah. So it was just you know there were a couple people that uh, we initially asked. I think. Um, Bear, otherwise known as Collins Regisford from yes. uh, Mannequin Pussy, a dear friend of Ben's uh, for a long time to do uh, a song, uh, a part on here. And then, like, someone said yes, and I was like, well, I'll just keep asking people that are, yeah. like, connected to the band in one way or another, whether yeah. they're, they've been, like, longtime listeners or people we've, we've like, worked with in the past. Like, Kaleidoscope uh, Studio um, has recorded uh, Tate Logan's band Happy in the past, um, and Kaylee Wolf from Rivals, yeah, Rivals has been yeah, listening yeah, to the band for a while. Like we met years ago, I'm out in out in the uh, West Coast, and then uh, fucking sorry, uh, Dylan from yeah, Dylan Slocum, Dylan, right? Yeah, from yep. Spanish love songs. I yep. I just really enjoyed the hell out of their music, Spanish and so love I was like, hey awesome. man, you wanna <laughs> maybe? Yeah, and dude. like uh, yeah, everybody, uh, yeah, and then just like everybody just said yes. Hell and yeah. it felt like a big, like, actualization, like, actualization of, like, the band's name and existence. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, lots of people contributing. Yeah, right, right. Great. And Thank then, you. of course, like, my, my bandmates, like... Yeah. These, these like, these songs w were, uh, could only maximally be ever 70% finished. Sure, them. sure, yes, without so, like, them yeah, being a... It's been a, it's been a very beautiful process in the last couple of years yeah man well uh, thanks a lot for sharing we'll talk again after uh, this next break but why don't you go yeah. into your next song yeah Right post collapse, something's killing all the birds in my neighborhood. Please, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. We all die! Why not do it in a parking lot? We all sigh, cause we know it might be all for naught. We all cry, but we only do it all alone through a combat zone. Long walk home.
head plastic Right, my lungs are lesser than This life suck a rot I will now be putting fingers to places Not the stands or underneath the creatures You asshole kept me there till I did not care Remember that when you come looking for features I love how that song has that, like, lumbering is the word I want, but maybe that's insulting. But a big, big, slow development at the end, hard-hitting, amazing, amazing. Story about that. Yes, tell me. <laughs> wow, this is easy. I don't even have to ask the questions. You just tell me. This that whole great. thing, I think, was an accident. <laughs> Didn't we just, like, try to, like, time shift it? I oh, think some like weird, th like some weird thing while we're recording. We're like, this just sounds cool as hell. Oh well, yeah, go in, yeah. In Pro Tools, if you hit Shift and then play, it plays it, you know, half speed or whatever. Sure. And you know, somebody accidentally hit Shift and play, and then it was like, well, that was kind of cool. That Let's figure out like a tempo. <laughs> yeah. We'll bring it back in. I love it. That's wow. Yeah, Pure this creativity. whole recording process was very like yes and. Sure. You know, yeah. very felt. Yeah. We used a lot of, and Joe will tell you, I use a lot of emotional words. Sure. When yes. describing. Like parts, sure. Like how a, you want it to feel, not yeah. how necessarily what the notes are. Like those like emotional that. closed captionings, like like whenever you see like SpongeBob or somebody being like stares long. <laughs> yeah, like, luckily. Like that, like that's eyes like, blankly just, absorbing nothing. Yeah. Yes, yes. And that, I I, like that really can't. I think I feel like that really comes across in the in the recording. I I agree. <laughs> I agree. Uh, speaking of which, uh, connected to our last bit of conversation, but referencing a spiritual awakening in inward looking and all that. There's a mm -hmm. um, Ramdas reference on the album. I've seen in interviews referencing a book by Richard Rohr. Are there some specific thinkers beyond those two, or, or like those are some big big hitters for you? Have you hitters? Yeah. Few? So I mean, you know, in the I mean, in the Christian symbol system, you got Richard Rohr. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I was introduced to those people, like those guys through, um, like, Pete Holmes. Sure. And the, uh, there was a podcast called The Liturgist a while back. Yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely. Michael Cargue and Hillary McBride. But, like, on the on more sort of the Eastern, the non-Christian symbol systems, you know, you got guys like like Ram Dass, you got David Nick Turn, um, geez, Chogam Trung Parim Tache, who Nick Turn studied under. Just a lot of, you know, and... Uh, Chogim Trungpa talks a lot about like spiritual materialism, but on the on the other hand, uh, Richard Rohr says that like it's all just different wells for the same water. Hmm. You know, hmm. so uh, you know, man, it doesn't need to be anything. Cra it doesn't need yeah. to be anything crazy. Yeah, I'm not some crystal TikToker. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, like, totally, totally. You get to a place where you just realize that you, you are enough. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> and it, and and it's surprising how that realization, or at least the moving towards that realization also allows you to openly treat other people like they are enough. You stop doing the things that you did because you felt like or were told that you were less than. Absolutely. So, like, it's, it's, it's a positive feedback loop. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I'm not saying anything's for everybody, but... Sure. Being good to other people is... <laughs> 
is never like, goes out of style. Yeah, never goes out of style. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was a, one of the interviews that I read. You said like it's kind of this feeling that you had had, you know, as a kid, even or, or just your whole life that like there's there's something, you know, un, under this that that matters well, inherent just, value. Like just the idea that like you, you can intellectually understand that you have value. Right. Right. Like, but you don't necessarily feel it. Yeah. Right. You know, um, and so that's just what that what the last couple of years has been for me. This sure. kind of crazy, like whole like. <laughs> like holy hell! Like I am, like I'm, I'm enough. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and it's it's uh it is incredibly small but incredibly powerful. Yeah. Yeah, I and agree. I, I can't be more grateful to uh, these guys for helping me express uh, my journey for the last couple of years. Hell yeah! Well, yeah. Thank thank you guys as well. And you can go into that next set when you're ready. <laughs> Should we tell? I guess like this song is called Fine. It's up to you. Cool. Oh, y'all will forgive me. Uh, like I said, I got dysautonomia, so sometimes my nervous system gets the best of me and I gotta wait for my things to calm back down. Okay. When will my hands be clean of you? You're still the ants, but I am fireproof. I hope my breath you take a purple hue.
methods I don't know how to face But if I shake my head hard enough Maybe I can replace them Hands be clean of you You're still the ants but I'm fireproof You're watching Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with you, me, and everyone we know. You can get their record, Something Heavy, which is out now. They're playing The Bottom Lounge tomorrow with a couple of awesome Angie. Check it out. And a couple more dates throughout uh, the coming months. So go on socials and check that out. And y'all can go on your next song when you're ready. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. yeah trying to think if there's anybody. Any, anything anybody's got to say? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can keep asking questions, too. I have other things to ask if we need break. No, I, I'm just hanging out, man. <laughs> you're you're on, you're on your, your you, seem, you seem excited. It it's sounds the, amazing. It's the adrenaline dump. Yeah, the jitters. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah, let's just play the next song. This song is a grounding exercise for those of you who are being carried away by your thoughts regularly. Your plugs are now dead, but the black cat mid sneeze an old picture of me. Snake plant slippers and house keys, the couch I slept on most of 2019. The clang of the gate, my feet on the way, the door and my laces stay. The recycling plant, an unwashed man, pretty soon a little heavy. Live. We're in the studio with you, me, and everyone we know. Y'all can go ahead and take this moment to keep tuning, get ready, whatever. Um, I love that song. That's also an exercise that has been like really helpful for me over the last couple of years. So yeah, thanks for honestly putting it out and sharing. Um, what do you do outside? Obviously, music. You're uh, something you're doing as a job. What What else do you do outside of um, like music for work or fun? Or oh, I sell drugs for a living um, <laughs> and. These, Make it these happen. two gentlemen here are his only ben customers. Roth, yeah, are the only two John people Smith. that purchase it. <laughs> um, are they? Own, they are proprietors of uh, the studio where uh, this album was recorded, the Kaleidoscope, Very in cool. Lancaster, Pennsylvania. You are fucking up if you're not hitting them up um, after listening to that record. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, go ahead and do that. Um, I'm blushing. Joe works at a 
at an adult toy center called Tone Tailors in Pennsylvania. I'm sorry, I meant music equipment. Yeah. Um, sorry. And Trevor does something with old cars and I think watches. Wow, both? No, no, just cars. Just cars. <laughs> but still, you didn't expect that, did you? He loves gears. Trevor just loves, like, interlocking pieces. <laughs> as long as they fit gears, together. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't have said it better myself. Gears of War is his favorite video game. Yeah, oh, Gears of War is perfect favorite. sense. Those Top dudes. Gear is, I mean, he probably likes it. I Top Gear is show. another show. <laughs> Guilty Gear, it's a fighting Guilty. game. What? Loves that, too. Yeah, he does. <laughs> And now we'll just think of other stuff with gears in it for the next For the rest. I'm working on something that got nothing. You guys gave me the wrong thing to hyper-focus on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, go. We got one more. <laughs> We're the band you, me, and everyone we know. You're welcome for being here. What a fade into the haze. Tree Live. We've been in the studio with you, me, and everyone we know. You can check them out tomorrow at the Bottom Lounge in Chicago and get something heavy, which is out now. Thank you so, so much. For Thank you. For us. Yes. Thanks, Thanks for having to us. The awesome uh, viewers, to Y'all are great. And audio people, to awesome people in the studio. The lights look beautiful. The band looks beautiful. All of us in the studio here, thank you for watching. Have a great day.
Bye. Thank you.